IV therapy is a way of administering fluids, medications, blood, and needed nutrients that can be very beneficial to the patient, but it's also important to know it comes with its own risks and complications. Phlebitis is when the vein becomes inflamed. This can be noted by pain, redness, and tenderness at the IV site, and the IV pump may even alert occlusion due to decreased IV flow. Infection can occur if bacteria enters the site. This can stay local or become systemic if not managed promptly. Symptoms of this can be redness at the IV site, fever, and chills. A hematoma is a collection of blood in the tissues. This can be noted by pain or discomfort at the IV site, a hard lump or swelling, or bruising at the site. Infiltration is when IV contents leak into the surrounding tissue. This can be noted by edema, pallor, pain, and coolness at the IV site. And if the patient was receiving a vesicant, the patient is high risk for something called extravasation, which can lead to blistering, necrosis, and tissue sloughing. Examples of vesicants are vasopressors, chemotherapy agents, and calcium chloride. I hope you found this helpful and check out the full study sheet in the nursing school success bundle.